What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're going to talk about Terrify 3 in this video here today. We'll be going over mostly in this video some some of the first plot details that have come online courtesy of Daniel RPK, Daniel Rickman. If you know that insider, you know that they have proven themselves to be very reliable in the past when it comes to a lot of movies, upcoming past movies, TV shows, whatever. Uh, but we're going to talk about that. I'll be going over some of the new characters. I'll be sharing a little bit more details about the Christmas stuff. Looks like college will be a factor in Terrifier 3. But before I get to that, I want to touch on what Art the Clown possibly could be or who he possibly could be. Because we know the entity itself seems to be very supernatural. But what if this individual was once in the medical field according to a fan theory that's online i just wanted to draw attention to this fan theory really quick and get your guys' thoughts on it down in the comment section below but according to over on reddit by a user named gravel steak i'll leave a link to it in the description it's like a year old theory i just wanted to share it on my channel see what you guys think about it they think that art the clown used to be a doctor and they said it seems to them that Art was likely pretty screwed up from the beginning. He went into medicine to feed his fascination with death, doing stuff like purposely botching surgeries or stealing medical cadavers to dissect them on his own time. Eventually, he craved new heights of depravity, picked up mass murder as a hobby, and somehow got in touch with a major metaphysical celebrity who gave him resurrective immortality. Now, I'm not going to say that's too far-fetched. And I see where they're coming from when they observe these past entries we've already seen Art the Clown in going all the way back to All Hallows Eve and how there is a certain fascination with certain objects that he likes to use to kill people. They go on to talk about how Art clearly has a fondness for medicine related weapons. Art carries around a whole host of implements to kill his victims, ranging from the obligatory cleaver to the genre defined handgun. But a lot of emphasis is placed on scalpels and syringes. Throughout all his appearances, he repeatedly uses a cat of nine tails fashioned from dust fashioned from rusty scalpels and needles as his signature weapon in terrifier he stalks terra while wielding a scalpel art seems to be fixated on terra in a way that goes beyond his normal victims and out of all the weapons he had available he chose to menace her with a scalpel and what does he do to her when he finally captures her he jabs her with a syringe which brings this person to their next point. A lot of Art's kills require medical training. The aforementioned syringe is a big piece of evidence. Art hits a very, or hits a vein first try, cleanly injecting Tara with some kind of anesthetic that knocks her out for roughly an hour. The injection itself is damning enough, but pulling this off would also involve measuring out doses. This is technically within reach for a determined slasher, but medical training seems likely as well, according to this person. Some of Art's other actions are similarly difficult. He carves a near-perfect jack-o'-lantern into some guy's face, which would have to involve going through both flesh and bone without compromising the head structures. He goes on to talk about how they how Art cut off a woman's breast at one point without damaging either breast, saying that they're no expert, but all of those procedures really within reach seem really within reach for a or they're saying, but are all of these procedures really within reach for an untrained death mind? So that's where they're coming from when they say that they think that Art used to be a doctor. And again, I do like this theory. Um, What do you guys think about that? Do you guys think that Art the Clown was a doctor who got mixed up in something and made a deal with the devil or some other supernatural entity that obviously made him into a supernatural entity and he's still carrying on his depraved practices now as this supernatural entity? It's not too far-fetched. And I could see... Damien Leone possibly doing something like that as a possible explanation as to some of Art's background before he became what he is today that he used to be a doctor doesn't seem far-fetched at all but let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below i'll leave a link to it in the description so you can check the theory out too let's get into terrifier 3 details so terrifier 3 seems to have a lot of interesting plot details courtesy of daniel rpk now terrifier 3 we know it will be written and directed by Damien Leone. It looks like it's going to start filming in January on the 29th, 2024, and it'll last through February 23rd of 2024, shooting out in New Jersey. Now, here's the first plot details. Art the Clown is set to unleash chaos on the unsuspecting residents of Miles County as they peacefully drift off to sleep on Christmas Eve, the third installment of Damien Leone's, Damien Leone's Terrifier franchise. Here's your cast. Art the Clown, played by David Howard Thornton. Sienna, played by Lauren Levar. Jonathan, played by Elliot Fulham. Here's some of the newbie characters. You have Gabby, who's someone around the ages of 12 to 15. Female, white. Gabby is energetic, precocious, sometimes sassy and full of life. A young girl curious about the world beyond her peaceful suburban life. She is Sienna and Jonathan's cousins, and or, or cousin, and idolizes Sienna like the big sister she never had. 
Then you have Jessica in the ages of 40 to early 50s. Female, white, a.k.a. Aunt Jess. She is Sienna and Jonathan's aunt. She's smart, stable, empathetic with the heart of a fighter, but unlike her late sister Barbara, she has a gentle soul. As wife to Greg and mom to Gabby, Jess is the glue that holds her small family together. Then you have Greg. Also 40s to early 50s, male, white, aka Uncle Greg. He is your all-American, everyone's favorite uncle type of guy. A solid, loving provider for his wife Jessica and daughter Gabby. The cool dad. He's a well-kept man with a strong athletic physique. Then you have Cole, 18 to 22 years of age. And then you have the character of Mia, who is also 18 to 22 years of age. But starting off with Cole... Male, open ethnicity, Cole is Jonathan's college roommate, the cool guy to Jonathan's nerd, the bro, Cole and his girlfriend Mia have a big loud energy when they are together that can be magnetic or turn sinister and obnoxious. This role requires a shower scene of intimate nature and partial nudity. Now Mia has the same general breakdown but it says here she's female, open ethnicity, she's Mia or she is Cole's girlfriend. She's cute, fun, popular, college girl with a bit of a mean streak. So those are some of the early details that have come out courtesy of Daniel RPK as it pertains to Terrifier 3. What do you guys think about this down in the comment section below? What do you think about us going to college? What do you think about the Christmas Eve setting? Not that we didn't know about this, but that was our first plot description of it, courtesy again of Daniel RPK. Uh, there's no link to this. It all comes directly from Daniel RPK's Patreon that someone sent over to me. But let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. And also, don't again forget to let me know, what do you think about Art the Clown possibly being a doctor before he made a deal with some sort of supernatural being, whether that be the devil or some other supernatural entity, and he's still just carrying on his depraved practices in this supernatural form that he currently resides in. But Terrifier 3 again looks like we'll be getting to meet more of Jonathan and Sienna's family since they are now living with their aunt and uncle, probably the likely narrative approach they decided to take since their mother died in the second film and they were both still in high school but it seems like there's a time jump going on since jonathan is the one described as being in college here and not sienna maybe sienna's in college as well but we'll just have to see how much time has passed between terrifier 2 and terrifier 3 when this comes out let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification in this video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video